Yo, what's happening? How's everyone doing? Good. Okay. Right. Straight into it. Intro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Eight bars, simple, pretty simple. Drums, um, start off with a little kick. Cut it down. Got the tail off it for four bars and the main kick comes in. You've probably seen me do this in most of my tracks and you've seen me do it in tutorials, so I won't talk too long about it. But I'll talk about the cushion and that I've used. I've got a loop, a pre-made loop that is from Vengeance Deep House 2. I've put side chain on it quite a lot. Kickstart, Nicky Romero. And I've got an open hat laid over it. Side chain but that's bypass so I don't need it there. So them two. Sound like that. A clap. Nice, nice punchy drums. So, yeah, that's what we want. With a kick. So, all that comes in after four bars. The first four bars are just... Little Phil. Philip. That Phil is from... Vengeance EDM audio. Um, uh, this organ is actually the M1 organ technically, but it's not in M1. I've used VPS Avenger. I think it may be sampled actually from M1, but it's in VPS Avenger. That's in the factory, the factory expansion as well for VPS Avenger. It's called Andy's M1, so it's from M1. I don't know who Andy is. I'm assuming that's who created it in M1 all them years ago. So yeah, got a side chain on the organ, just a little bit. I've used Camel Fat to bring off the low end. Tiny bit of distortion, boost the high end a little bit, just to bring it out, give it some presence. So yeah, eight bars for that intro. So yeah, then it breaks down. And then I've got this, these elements for the breakdown. I've put them all through one group so I can filter them. That's the tonic filter that comes with Cubase. First up is a bass. It's like that basic square, sort of bouncy, future bounce bass, just for the breakdown. That's from Massive. Uh, I've just rolled a little bit of the bottom end off that. So when the main bass comes in, it's done, the main bass doesn't sound too weak. Only, I've only took a bit off, you only need to take a bit off, I mean, if you take too much off, it's going to sound, the, the breakdown's going to sound weak, so. And I've got a little layer. That's from Silenth. And this main part of the breakdown is the piano. From VPS Avenger. Funky House Expansion. Trash Piano. It's like quite a, it's just a nice, bright piano. And then I've got a string running with it on the root note from Nexus. <laughs> Sounds like that, simple. So all together on the breakdown. Hey, 
So that goes on for eight bars, and then I bring in like a crash and a snap. Because if that went on, if 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 the one that crash and the snap coming in, it'd be too long. You've got to after eight bars on a breakdown. If your breakdown's longer than eight bars, you've got to bring something in, introduce something after the eight bars. So yeah. Uh, I want to talk about this bit because this was like a last minute thing. I just tried it and I left it in. I don't know if it even sounds good. I mean, if you're not into it, leave a comment. Let me know what you think. But I, I, I wasn't sure, but I thought I'll just do it anyway. I like uh, I use Vary Audio. You, if you use Cubase, you'll know what that is. But you might use FL Studio or something. So you'll probably have Melodyne for stuff like this. She's ready to blow. Straighten the pitch on that bit. Uh, duplicated it. Changed the position of the notes. And pitched it down an octave. So originally it was like... So I pitched it down an octave. And sort of like layered it with the main vocal. A little bit of a flanger on it, just a bit. Load of reverb. So it's kind of like harmonies. Uh, my own harmonies, and it sounds like this. I think it sounds pretty cool. I mean, I did it at the time anyway. I want. I'm not sure now, but leave a comment. Let me know what you think. See all together. This is where the main bass comes in. Uh, this bass is just one, one, uh, one sound, and it's an audio sound. Um, there's the pattern. Really tough, really gritty, really punchy, and that is just one, one audio sound. Um, deep House, Essential Deep House, Vengeance, Bass Cut, 43. It's just so solid. And I just, I just stuck with it. I tried it, it worked, stuck with it. I came up with a bass pattern while the acapella was playing. I just played some notes on the MIDI, on the keyboard. That's what I usually do. Messing around and it just sounded good, so I went with it. Yeah, that's what I usually do to come up with like riffs and stuff like that. Play, loop some it, and then just play over it. Keep playing it until you get something that sounds good. It's the best way to work, I think. Uh, the build up, the parts in the build up are all one thing. This might seem lazy, but it worked, so I went with it. And I mean, it sounds good, so listen. Yeah, so that's all one thing, all one audio, and it's from Vengeance EDM, Long Phil 18. Um, so yeah, that builds up with the bass, and that's all there is in it. I mean, you might be looking at this and being real surprised at how simple it is, but a lot of the times, you don't need loads of, loads of layers and loads of stuff. If you get something that sounds good, you, it it doesn't need anything else. If it sounds good, it sounds good. Just go with it. So yeah, it drops there. Um, there's like a little pause for that little fill at the end of that build up um, and then I increase the side chain on the vocal when it drops 
Just to help it duck a bit more, I mean, I was going to do it the full way up, as you can see, I've automated it there. I was going to do it all the way up, but let's see how that sounds. <laughs> Yeah, see, it does help it flow really nice, but I think too much side chain and you lose, I mean, you're losing most of your sound, aren't you, so about there was about enough, I think. See, then I drop it in with the drums and everything. That goes on for eight bars. That's where I introduced that original riff, which someone mentioned earlier, asked me how I did it, and it's so simple, you won't even believe this. There's nothing to it, it's just three notes. I just played it on the... I just played that, recorded it, and then quantized the notes so they're nice and tight, and just laid it over, and it's from... VPS Avenger, EDM1, the first lead in the lead section. But you could use any synth to make that. It's just a basic, big... It's like a trance saw, really. Or just a, just a general club saw, you know what I mean? Yeah, classic, classic sound. And the organ comes in as well. Over the bass. So you've got them three. And they all roll nicely together. And then there's this bit. Just that vocal, yeah. And then what? one normal, then the next one pitched down. One normal, and the next one pitched down. All together. Uh, so yeah, eight bars that goes on for, um, and I filter down that lead. Just to help the next transition, which is the second verse. Second verse rolls over the drums and the bass. I think I did a bit more work in Vary Audio, yeah, straightening the bits of pitch. Only just, only little bits. She's a certified twenty. There, it sounds good on that end bit. The certified twenty, but that just ain't me. And there, but that just ain't me. You can see where the pitch has been straightened. I mean, it's it is an outdated sound or tune like that, but it still sounds good. I mean, people did it back when they started doing it because it sounded good. But just don't overdo it. I just like to do little bits, and if it sounds good, it sounds good. I mean, if you ever do it, you're gonna end up sounding like Cher, aren't you? I mean. She was, I think that was like one of the first tracks, the share track, uh, Believe was it, yeah, Believe, it's a big track. So yeah, that uh, second verse, 16 bars, it goes on for. So we have a second breakdown. I went with the same sort of sound, same notes, same chords, but different sounds. I, the bass is there, giving it the body, the string. But then I used a pluck. For them chords. Um, and a lead, the same lead what I used for the hook. But obviously different chords. Yeah, it's like a tra again, that's like a big trancey EDM sound, really big. Yeah, 
So yeah, that's eight bars for that little breakdown slash interlude thing. And then it builds up, it goes, I filter that down and then it goes into the bit before ludicrous bit. And then for the ludicrous bit, I just thought I'd go with a kick and a bass and a clap, so it's like a different kind of drop for the ludicrous bit. After eight bars, bringing all the symbols. Then that goes on for eight bars again. Uh, and then obviously after the ludicrous bit, like in the original, it goes back to the chorus. So that's what I did. And then when the chorus comes in on this bit, I bring the organ in just to introduce something else because it doesn't want to get too boring. Eight bars again, and then I go back to the hook. Exactly the same as it was earlier, no different. But then uh, go as it as it sort of like breaks down. Or like the outro, if you want to call it. I uh, I bring the loot that that ludicrous bit back in. Well, not back in because I've never been in yet. But you know. I also took the bass and cut the bottom off it. Just so you know, it's ending, kind of, if you know what I mean. Kind of like bringing out bits slowly. And that's it. That ends with eight bars of drums like that. And then right at the end... That little bit at the end. On the last beat. And then a crash to end it. Simple stuff, guys. I hope this one was helpful for you. I'm going to get some more of these done as soon as I can. Uh, leave a comment anyway and like, let me know what you want me to do. So, yeah. Let's, guys. <laughs>